What's up guys, welcome back to Tech Turtle with a brand new video for you guys today, and this one's a good one. Um, I was scrolling through YouTube, I actually have a Samsung Galaxy S9 as you guys can see, and I was looking for a micro SD um, card for myself because, you know, my phone started running out of storage and that's something that Android offers or Samsung that um, Apple doesn't. So I was like, great, let me, let me get this... Um, little chip so I can expand my storage because I was almost out and I was looking through some options and then I went on YouTube and not a single person made a video for the S9 so I'm here for you guys the S9 boys let's get it so instead of giving guys just a big big drop down list I'm just gonna do the best for each thing because you guys might have different reasons for it so if you're in budget and you just need a little bit it's a $7 card. You can see the picture here. It's a Samsung 32 gigabyte Evo Select. It It's only 32 gigabytes, but if you're just looking to expand your storage a little, this one's a pick because it's only seven bucks and it'll get the job done. You need a little bit of storage expansion. That's the one for you. Coming in at durable and fast. Now, if you want something that's durable, like really good, it won't it won't disappoint. It'll uh, transfer files fast, especially if you're looking for like 4K video, then you're looking for the Sandus Extreme 64 gigabyte chip. This thing will get your files moving so fast you don't even know. Like the files will transfer in instant. You got 4K files, like big files, you know, sometimes you can't have like over one gigabyte. This stuff can handle that. So this is the Extreme. This is 19 bucks, so it's not too bad. Uh, but, it, but it'll definitely get the job done quickly. Coming in at best overall pick. So this is like the uh, well-rounded overall for just file storage when you need a lot. This is um, the Samsung 128 gigabyte Evo Plus. In the first, we did the Evo Select. This is the Evo Plus. So this has 100 megabyte, uh, megabytes per second read speeds and 90 megabyte per second read, uh, write speeds. So it's pretty fast. If you're just looking for general storage, this is the thing for you. It's only 20 bucks and you just want to hold some storage. This is the one, you know, you just need a quick one at 28 gigabytes. You're running out of storage. That's the one. Now coming in number four for good middle ground. I would rate this good middle ground. Middle ground basically means when you're, you're looking for something between 128 and 256 gigabytes. Well, I'll present it to you, the SanDisk Ultra 200 gigabyte card. Yes, I know you haven't heard of many of those because they don't really come out that often, but you need a 200 gigabyte card. This is a lot of storage. This, this should be good for your phone if you don't have too many files. Like you have a good number, but not like too many. So this is something that you should definitely look for. It's 30 bucks, so not the most expensive thing. Yeah, it'll be a little slower than the other cards in file transfer, but it'll definitely get your job done. This one's for powerhouse users. That means you're looking for quick power and storage at the same time. This is the one for you, the Samsung Evo Plus 256 gigabyte card. This will get you the storage and the speed both. So 256 gigabyte is almost like down, like double your storage on your phone or whatever, how many gigabyte phone you have. It's a lot of storage. You should be good with this if you're holding big files. Um, but it can't hold super duper big files, like over one gigabyte files, but it'll get the um, really good job done. Now, lastly, most space possible. I don't know if your phone will do this because some Samsung phones can only hold up to 400 gigabytes, but you will have to maybe call, talk to the call center or something. But this is the one that Samsung is compatible built with and it can hold all the big files. It is the PNY Elite 512 gigabyte card. It's the most possible space you can get at the fastest rate at the good price. It's $153. So how, like, do you really need 512 gigabytes? Think before you pay $153 for this card. You could get a $256 card for just 40 bucks. The Samsung Evo Plus is just 40 bucks. This is a PNY Elite at $153. But if you're serious about getting some real storage and you put in a lot of files on your phone, this is the one for you. This will expand everything. Uh, yeah, so the PNY, um, maybe the prices have changed. This is the prices from when I'm recording this video. 
Uh, thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you guys subscribe. We're trying to get to 200 subs. Uh, share this with your friends. And um, comment down below. Do you want me to make this for some other phones, you know? Is there other phones that you need to know the um, so micro SD cards, the best ones? Uh, if you're really that confused, comment down below. I'll answer all your questions about which card you need to buy. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share, like up the video, comment. And other than that, it's been Tetra and we're out. Peace.